than just the physical workout. Good nutrition is also key, but it's more than just what the athletes eat. What helps them can help anyone, even if you don't have Olympic dreams. One in every four Americans tells the Centers for Disease Control they consider themselves obese. Olympic athletes don't have to worry about this, but they can help the rest of us. We started asking questions about the role nutrition plays in their training and found advice that can work for anyone. I think the Olympic athlete really serves as what we call the gold standard of what we should all be striving for within the context of what we have as an everyday lifestyle. And it can be achieved, and I think people need to be given that uh, that message. First and foremost, find balance in your diet and your day. I have to make sure that they're not only getting the proper percentages of macronutrients, meaning carbohydrate, protein, and fat, but they need to make sure that they time it in relation to when they're exercising, when they're sleeping, and when they're not exercising. If you don't exercise now, start. Even if weight is not a problem, provided your doctor clears you. And make sure you're giving your muscles the fuel they need to perform. Dr. Arciero mentioned three macronutrients. The first, carbohydrates. Carbohydrates should be the main dietary intake that they're consuming. And in that line, they should be consuming very complex, unrefined, carbohydrate sources. Things like whole grains, oatmeal, and legumes. Even if weight is a concern, don't avoid carbs. With carbohydrates, they've gotten a bad rap, and that's because of our current way of processing carbohydrates. We ultra-refined our carbohydrate food source. Dr. Arciero says a good rule of thumb is to stay away from white carbs. Instead, go with whole grain, brown rice versus white rice, steel cut oats, whole wheat pasta. Another concern, fats. We all sometimes shun fat, but we know full well that fat plays a very critical um, role in allowing us to perform at our best. Again, choose the right kind of fat, the kind you find in flaxseed oil, walnuts, peanuts, almonds, fatty fish. Dr. Arciero says your body needs these healthy fats in order to protect your nerve fibers. The covering over our nerves, and so all these neurons that we have circulating throughout our body and allowing our muscles to function uh, at our optimum, are really in in encapsulated within a fat sheath. And finally, eat smaller amounts more often. We should be eating closer to six to eight times a day in small little what we call meals uh, that encompass all of those macronutrients that I discussed. All this doesn't have to take time. Dr. Arciero recommends planning your meals ahead of time and buying the healthier foods in bulk so they're always available even when you're in a hurry. Benita Zahn reporting. The woman who became a gymnastics hero at the 1996 Olympic Games, Carrie Strug,